Thanks for joining us here. I'm Liz Dewicki. So the process of selecting El Paso's next city manager is raising some concerns right now among community members. In fact, on your screen, I want to show you here the four candidates right now. Mario D'Agostino, uh, Robert Cortinas, Dion Mack, and Nicole Farini. Tonight, we know that the process of selecting El Paso's next city manager is raising some concerns, though, among some community members. In fact, one El Paso resident chosen to be involved in this process says it's leaving her and others in the dark about their role in the whole thing. So KFOX 14 News at 9's Julia Spencer live for us in the newsroom tonight to explain what's causing this frustration for at least one of those panelists. Julia? Well, one community member chosen to interview the four finalists up for the city manager position says that the city's lack of organization has left her and the other panelists in the dark with no sense of when this interview will happen and left feeling disrespected. It's disrespectful to the community. It's disrespectful to the candidates that may be coming in. Uh, and it's be been very disrespectful to the people that they've asked to sit on this panel. Cindy Conroy is one of nine chosen panelists set to interview the four finalists for the city manager position. Although chosen to be a part of the Citizen Advisory Committee panel, Conroy says they were left confused on what to do. I think there was a lot of surprise because most of us had been asked on one day and then the next day they announced the finalist and then it was like, wait a minute, what was I asked to do? Part of the process includes community meet and greets, two panel interviews, and an interview between the finalists and city council. But Conroy says she and other panelists have been left in the dark. Right now we haven't had a, an opportunity to even meet with the candidates. Left with no idea on when this interview is supposed to take place. We were asked um, one date that was floated around was August 5th. I cleared my schedule for that and then it was August 14th. Just Wednesday we were asked if we were would be available either next Thursday or Friday. For any of us not to know that maybe it's next Thursday or Friday, you know, we're all pretty much working professionals. Conroy also believes this search is happening at the wrong time, either too late or too early. But I also think that we're rushing a process that we could, I mean, if this had been done a year ago or even, you know, nine months ago, so we come to this and we're at, you know, we're less than 90 days to an election. All she wants is better communication and planning from the city. I think we deserve, this community deserves the best that we can be.